Hi there. In the following video, I will show you how to answer question 9 of the January 2010 OCR call 4 paper. Again, it's a question on vectors. Let's take a look. Question 9, it was the last question and it was 10 marks, okay? Uh, and it was quite straightforward. Let's just show you how to pick up an easy 10 marks on a vectors question. It gives you the equation of a line L, uh, given by the following, uh, and O is the origin. It says that point P is on the line L when T is 1. Calculate the angle between OP and the line L. Okay, well firstly, let's work out where the position vector of P is, okay? When T is 1, okay, then we would have R, at that point we would have R is 3, 1, 1, okay, plus 1 lot of 1, minus 1, and 2, putting in T to be 1, and working this out, it would be 4, 0, and 3. Okay, so the position vector of P is 4i, uh, 0j, and 3k. That's the position vector of P. Moreover, uh, if you want to work out the angle between the line and OP, firstly, what is the vector OP? Well, the vector OP it is the same as the position vector. It's 4, 0, and 3. Okay, and the line, well, what's the direction of the line? This is the equation of the line, but this here is the direction that that line is going in. So if we want to find out the angle between OP and L, we take the dot product of their direction vectors. So what we do is we use the formula that cos theta is equal to the dot product. Actually, let me just uh, label something. I'm going to call A the vector 1, minus 1, and 2, and I'm going to call B this vector 4, 0, 3. So the angle between A and B is going to be the dot product A and, of A and B divided by the size of A times the size of B. Okay? So let's work out each component. A dot B. Okay? Uh, 1 times 4 is 4. Minus 1 times 0 is 0 and 2 times 3 is 6, you add those together you get 10. What's the modulus size or magnitude it's called of A? Well, it's the square root of 1 squared plus minus 1 squared plus 2 squared. 1 plus 1 plus 4 is 6, so this is the square root of 6. What's the a magnitude of B? Well, that's the square root of 4 squared plus 0 squared plus 3 squared 4 squared is 16 plus 0 plus 9 is 25 so the uh, modulus of that is the square root of 25 which is 5 and now we just plug numbers into the formula therefore cos theta is a dot b which is 10 divided by root 6 times 5 okay um, which it, we work it out on our calculator and to work out the angle we take the inverse cos of this thing here 10 over 5 root 6 so we do 10 divided by uh, 5 root 6 and we take the cos of that inverse cos of that answer and we get that the angle theta should be equal to 35.2 uh, degrees to three significant figures. Actually, just looking at my calculator, that was rounded uh, 35.3 to three significant figures. Okay, let's continue with this question. So, we have done uh, part one. Now it says, find the position vector of the point Q on the line L such that OQ is perpendicular to L. Okay, well we know Q is on the line L. So Q has some position vector, uh, some, for some number T, it's got, it's got the value 3 plus T, 3 plus 1 lot of T, 1 minus T, and 1 plus 2T. Okay, for some value of T, uh, this would be the position vector of Q. And also, it would be the, the vector OQ as well, the origin to Q. 
so just to make that clear, the direction OQ would also be given by this relative to the origin. Okay, so this is could be seen as the direction to get from O to Q. Well, if OQ is perpendicular to L, then the direction vector OQ dotted with the direction of the line L must be equal to zero because um, vectors are perpendicular if and only if their direction components are zero. So, 3 plus t, uh, 1 minus t, and 1 plus 2t, if we take the dot product of this with the direction vector of our straight line L, 1 minus 1, 2, I must get the answer 0 because they're perpendicular. Let's times this out. This times 1 is simply 3 plus t. This times minus 1 becomes t minus 1. And this times 2 becomes plus 2 plus 4t. And all of that would be 0. Collect your t's. 1t, 2t, and another 4t is 6t's. 3 minus 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4, and you get 0. And solving for uh, t here, subtract 4 off both sides and divide by 6, t would equal minus 2 thirds. Okay, so we found that uh, t is minus 2 thirds. Substituting that back in to um, uh, this equation, let's say here, what is the position vector of Q? Well, Q would be 3, uh, and it would be minus 2 thirds, and it would be 1 minus minus 2 thirds, so 1 plus 2 thirds, and 1 plus 2, lo two lots of minus 2 thirds, which would be 1 minus 4 thirds. So if you work that out, I think you get 2 and a third, 1 and 2 thirds, and you get minus a third. So that would be the position vector of Q such that OQ is perpendicular or at right angles to L. Okay, lastly, find the length of OQ. Well, if that's the position vector of Q relative to the origin, uh, OQ is just uh, the magnitude of this vector here. So the magnitude, I'm going to call that little Q, that vector there, the magnitude for part 3 of Q the magnitude of Q was going to be the square root of 2 and a third squared, so 2 and a third squared plus 1 and 2 thirds squared plus minus a third squared. Okay, so you work all that out. 2 and a third squared, which is 7 over 3 squared. So 7 over 3 squared plus uh, 5 over 3 squared. So 5 over 3 squared plus uh, 1 over 9. You work that out and you take the square root of it. And you should, with a bit of luck, get that the length of OQ is 2.89 uh, to significant figures. Okay, so we've done that question, all 10 marks. I hope you found that useful in your revision for vectors in Core 4. Thanks for listening.